to my channel. This video is a collab with It's Me Chloe May and it's going to be a makeup collection. Um, bear in mind, um, I do have quite a lot of stuff so this will probably be on for a long, long time. Um, but other than that, I hope you enjoy. So, all of my makeup is in this makeup organiser. So, I'm going to start off with the bigger compartment that obviously was at the top. So, first off, I have the collection eyebrow kit in blonde so obviously this is unfortunately the wrong shade as my hair is blonde but not blonde it's brown I've got blonde highlights so obviously that is the wrong color the next thing that I have is the 17 define and conquer contour kit and obviously like self-explanatory contour kit so yeah I haven't used this in a while I can't really get how to work it because you know I'm not good at it yet so I'm gonna have to maybe watch a few videos on that so I know how to do it Um, the next thing is the Maybelline New York Dream Flawless Nude Foundation, which is a fluid touch foundation. Um, I did actually get this off Chloe May and I loved it. Um, I think it does still have a bit of foundation in it, but so I will just keep it in there. But I don't know how long it would last for, so I don't know whether I'd get like a full face of makeup out of it. <coughs> okay. Next up is the George Ultra Sheer Foundation which again is the wrong shade um, I got it in the shade Ivory Beige but when I wear it it makes my face go really orange and I start to look like an umpa lumpa which is never good so obviously I can't use it because yeah it's the wrong shade that's the colour of it and next I have the MUA Skin Define Matte Perfect Foundation, which you all know that I absolutely love, and this is the first one that I bought. That's what I've got on today. The powder on top. Um, I do really like that. And then there's my other one, which is obviously the newer one. Next, I'm gonna go on to like lipsticks because I've only got two, so I can get these over and done with. The first one is this one this pink one which was from Primark I'm not sure if you can get it anymore and it just looks like this I do pretty much wear this most of the time because I just love it and it smells so nice look at the light taste it's nice as well and next one is the red one and this was actually from MUA so you might possibly still be able to get that on and then on the bottom it has this bit on so obviously you can just stick your finger in and put it on your lips if needs be. The next up is the 17 Miracle Matte Concealer Stick and obviously it just looks like a lipstick but it's concealer and that's just what it looks like. Look at that, I absolutely love it. I've got it on today. This was something this next one is something that I got in a magazine because I used to get like all the magazines and in every one you would get like a different type of makeup. This day I got a cheek tint which I haven't used. Um, next I'm going to go to my brushes. Ooh. The first one you will have seen because I showed it in, not my recent video, but the video before that. It was the haul video and it's my foundation brush. As you can tell, it's clattered in makeup and obviously it's going to be. You can use it for foundation. And it's just 
it doesn't look very nice at all. Um, I have my powder brush. It's not an actual brush. It came with one of those kid makeup sets. And I just thought, yeah, you know what? I'm going to use it for my powder. And that's why it looks like that. Plus, I thought I could wash it. And I couldn't because that's what happened to it. So really, I need to invest in another brush. Then I have these two brushes. Which I thought would be great for contour. But they're not. So do not use these for contour. Except they're just staying there in case I find anything else that I can use them for. Next, I have this super dry lip glaze. And um, this is actually mine. Um, my sister got it as a Christmas present. But she doesn't like use lipsticks and stuff. So she just thought, oh, Courtney, you can have it. So obviously it's just this pink one and it's just like your lip, so you just like a lip gloss. So you just twist this at the bottom, the lip becomes like the liquid goes onto there. Okay, so I wouldn't say these are like traditional makeup products, but obviously they do get used quite a lot. Um, so this is the... Chubba Chubbs Lip Smacker, so obviously if you've got like dry lips you would just put that on. As you can tell, it doesn't look very nice. It looks a bit, uh, battered, which I don't know why, because I don't even use it that much, because I never really get dry lips. Ow. Ooh, that actually really hurt. That can go back in there. And next is the Sprite Lip Smacker. This one, I don't think I've actually used. No, I haven't. You should look, it's still all nice and neat. And the next or last thing is the Strawberry Lip Balm. And this is actually from the Union J one. Look, my mum got me these one year for Christmas. Um, I did try them all out. Obviously, this one's strawberry, so I'd probably much prefer this one because, you know, I like strawberries, so. Um, this is also from the magazine, like the cheek tint, and this is the Cover Star High Shine Lip Crayon in Candied Coral. So, you, if it's like a lip liner, you'd probably just put it on your lips, so I didn't even need to tell you that because you'd already know. And, yeah, it's just this lovely red colour. Then I have this lip gloss, which was also from a magazine, and it just looks like that. So it's basically just that. This is also a lip gloss from a magazine. I seem to love the lip glosses from the magazine. That's why I've kept them all. If it was anything else, they'd just get chucked. So, you know, lip glosses are quite good. Then I'll go on to these. Okay, so next I have two of the Tanya Burr lip glosses. These were like the really, really old ones, the ones that first came out. And the red one is Heart Skip to Beat and the pink one is Exotic Island. I just really like the name for those. I just thought they were really, really nice. Then I have a lip gloss, which I got in a magazine again, and it's sort of like a really, really pale pink. Um, I do really like it though, so yeah. Um, and then I've got another lip balm, which is from the Union J one, and it's Chewy, and this one just says Union J on it. It looks pretty similar to the strawberry, except it's got glitter in it, if you look. Look very cool, so you can see the glitter. Um, uh, so now I've got some more Tanya Burr lip glosses. These were the ones that came with the nail polish set. Um, so this one came with the gingerbread one, and can't remember which one this came with. But this one is sugar and spice, and this one is cotton cane. So this is just like the brownie colour, you know, like your Demerara sugar would look like. And this is just a light fluffy pink like candy floss. 
or cotton candy if you're in America because if I didn't why would I have them um, now I've got another lip smacker and this is the coca-cola vanilla one I have used this because I think I really liked it no I haven't actually used it and it looks like that I mean that's a bit of a weird color it's nice so I'm gonna let them off with that one um, And now I have another lip gloss, and this is from Models Own. It's a hyper lips one, so that's apparently how that at the top is apparently what it's supposed to make your lips feel like. I don't know how much of this is true because I don't really, I don't normally wear, yeah. So I don't normally wear lip gloss, so I couldn't tell you how much of that is true, but I think it's really nice. Okay, um, now I'm gonna go on to the Union J lip balms. This one is vanilla. And it has Jamie on the front. Um, this one is actually just plain white because obviously it's vanilla. But I assume it's really nice, but I've never actually used this one. So I will have to let you know on that one. Um, this one is the Blueberry Lip Balm. I think I've used this one. I think it was really nice. This is the one I always struggle with because it, just, it was a bit broken. So it was just going like that. And I was like, I'm not even doing that. So it just looks like that. It's like a pale purple. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, it's basically just a pale purple. And I have the the last Union J one. It is the Mango Lip Balm, and it's oh, it's orange. <laughs> so yeah, it's basically just it's orangey colour, and I really like it. So. Then I have the actual lip gloss. I've never seen them like this in ages. So when I got this, I was just like, oh my gosh. So yeah, it's basically just the like the other one, except a darker pink and in this sort of tube. So I don't know. And the last thing for like lips is the lip, another one of those get lippy ones from the magazine. Except it's in this. So that's different again but i really like it at the end of the day now i'm gonna go on to all of the eye stuff um be prepared because i mean i say be prepared there's only five so it's not like i'm gonna be on a long time but i said to get prepared anyway so this one is the model's own hyper eyes lengthen and curl mascara that's what i've got on right now it doesn't look like i have but i have and it's basically what the brush looks like. The next one is the Extreme Curl Mascara from MUA. And it's shaped weirdly. And for some reason, every time I put this on, it makes my eyes, like, irritate. I mean, it's only this one. And it makes it, like, irritate really, really bad. That's what it looks like. And I don't know why. I think it's maybe the use, like, the shape of the brush or something. But... I, I was telling my mum, she was like, maybe like you're allergic to something in that mascara and that's why it's making your eye irritate. And I'm like, but what about the other eye? The other eye would irritate as well. So I don't know. Um, the last mascara that I actually have is the Never Ending Story one from the Makeup Gallery, which is actually from the pound shop, if you didn't know. I believe this one doesn't work because I, I took this on holiday with us when we went to Blackpool. My sister used it and she's like, oh, Courtney, this doesn't work. I was like, well, don't blame me. I never took it. You did. So obviously I had to give her one of mine to use because I'm just really nice. Um, next is the MUA Wet Look Eyeliner. I can actually do eyeliner. I just refuse to do it because it takes too much effort. And it always ends up everywhere. Because sometimes if I'm really, really concentrating, I'll end up going, oh, and I'm just like, oh, right that up then and then I just give up with it and I have to get my sister to do it and she doesn't like doing it because I don't sit still um, and the next and the last thing for eyes is the essence crystal eyeliner which again was from a magazine and it's purple so I don't think I'd really wear it but I kept it anyway because why not the last few things are probably to do with like are to do with your actual face so yeah okay 
So. I have these three powders, all from MUA. As you can tell, they're all different shades. This one's translucent, this one's shade one, and this one is shade two. This is the wrong shade, so I can't use it. And I can't exactly send it back either when I've already used it, as you can see. So I can't exactly send that back and ask if I can get a different one because it's already been used. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that because I can't exactly send it back like I've said like three million times now. Um, next I have the City Style Brown Eyeshadow. I'm not exactly not a fan of eyeshadow really, but that's what it looks like. It's basically just that brownie colour. Yeah. I think it's very, very nice. And the next one is all is a blusher, and it's obviously oh, that's actually really pretty. It looks like that. That was another one that came with a like that came with a magazine, and I think that's just really pretty. I haven't actually looked at that before, so that is something new to me. I didn't know that's what it looked like. So, and the last one is eyeshadow, but a glittery purple. Again, I'm not a great fan of eyeshadow, so. Chances are, it's not going to get used. Oh well. It can stay in there anyway because you never know, I might get used out of it. Oh, that's everything for this video unless you include American Wipes as a makeup collection. And I don't know. But that is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed don't forget to watch Chloe's video and subscribe to her channel. The links will be in the description. Um, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as that would really mean a lot too. Um, and yeah. I will see you soon in another video. Bye.